join you in the very fitting celebration of the commissioning of this convention center and also uh, to join you as we congratulate uh, the outgoing uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce and the incoming uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce today. But I want to say that this, this event is particularly important, not just because of the uh, sheer size of the edifice that we're about to commission. And I must say that I was uh, most presently taken aback by the size of it. For some reason, I've never, I've never noticed this building until today, uh, going up and down this uh, route. But I was quite shocked, frankly, to see that such an incredibly sized uh, building could have been done essentially by purely voluntary private sector effort. Which is why, which is why in my opinion, this is a very important event because it underscores the strength and dynamism of our private sector, which is a crucial component of our economic development. As a matter of fact, I think that we're all generally in agreement that, they, that there are at least three strands or, or, or three threats that will determine our economic development. The first, of course, is government policy. The second is private sector uh, investment. And the third is what type, what part of the private sector, and I think uh, Prince Karadin had mentioned this, the SME sector. I think that those three will definitely determine the way that our, that our economic development trajectory proceeds in this country. With respect to government uh, policy, of course you are aware that the government's position is that we must continue on an incremental basis to prescribe for ourselves and to provide for ourselves a properly enabling business environment in every respect. Which is why we have PEBEC, our Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, which focuses on trying to improve the business environment. But I think that one of the drawbacks that we've had in improving the business environment is really with respect to how we regulate small businesses. So for example, in Abuja, I hear very frequently uh, small businesses who talk about the kinds of problems that they experience, either with um, fumigation licenses or one license or the other, and all manner of, uh, all, all manner of constraints which ideally should not occur. Now, I know that the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory is actively working with PEBEC and that the Honourable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment have all been concerned about making this work. But Abuja is just one example of how, generally speaking, all over the country, we need to take a second look at how we regulate small business. We just need to take a second look. Now, so on the part of government policy, We've already more or less removed most of the major taxes. So, corporation tax for uh, if your turnover is under 25 million is zero. Yeah. And then we've reduced incrementally all the way up. So, with respect to corporation taxes, at least, we know that we're doing quite well. And same as if you look at the new, the proposed finance, uh, the proposed finance act, there are several incentives, several incentives for small businesses. But I think that, as they say, the devil is in the detail. We have to find ways, and I think this is where the private sector must work very actively with us in ensuring that we are self-regulators and policemen and women of the regulations. So that, uh, and, and I think that the time has come for us to have, you know, the Chamber of Commerce paying very, very active uh, attention to all that is going on in the MSME space, especially with respect to regulation. We must call out government officials who are making it difficult for people to do business. We simply must call them out. And, 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 this, is, and this is important, you know, if you recall, the president himself said that 
there is no way the private sector can thrive, no way business can thrive if government officials see themselves as roadblocks, see themselves as, as, as hindrances as opposed to facilitators. Every government regulator must be a facilitator of business. That is the We cannot afford a situation where regulators see themselves as policemen only. They must be uh, facilitators. I'm really excited to uh, see what the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry is doing. And I think that, uh, as they say, uh, if you are serious about anything, we will we, we'll know by what it is that you're spending your money on. And the fact that the Abuja Chamber of Commerce has chosen to spend its money on this permanent edifice for, uh, as a convention center and offices, I think is evidence of the fact that they are really serious about this business of regulating the environment and also promoting business and the economy. I want to congratulate again uh, uh, Prince Adeto Kumbokai, a senior advocate of Nigeria, my dear friend and brother, who I think has proved the point in the uh, years that he has been here. Uh, we, uh, of course, you know that he's on loan from, uh, the, from the legal profession where uh, he distinguished himself. But now that he has chosen to focus on business, I think that we should hold him down here and make sure that he does more than build this convention center, but also works actively as he has done in building the Nigerian economy. So I want to congratulate you again for the very great work that you did uh, while being president of the Chamber of Commerce and uh, to welcome the new president of the Chamber of Commerce and hope that he, that he will do even better and do even greater things. So I, I, I'd like to uh, uh, finally, as a final point, just wish to encourage the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, we've done quite a bit of work in terms of trying to see in what ways we can work uh, with the private sector. We have, we've run our business forum and, I'm, and the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment is already fully, uh, is already fully uh, involved in the business of ensuring that we promote a better business environment. So perhaps uh, the Abuja Chamber of Commerce ought to play a more important role in PEBEC in our enabling business environment. And I think, I'm sure that this is something we can work out because here in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria, I think it's important that we make a point here that business runs well here and we create a model here for every other state and every other uh, locality in Nigeria. So I'd like to again thank you very much for the honor of being here. Thank you very much. God bless you.